and welcome to Newsfeed on Trust TV. I am Sumaya Abubakar taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. Governor Fubara and Wiki reached truce after a closed door meeting with President Tinubu. No woman should be allowed to pay tax in Nigeria, says Minister of Women Affairs. NAVDA confirms raid of Abia factories where fake wines and drinks are produced. And Jonathan Majors found guilty for assaulting former girlfriend. Now, top of what's trending today, we have after a few weeks or weeks of dramatic twists and turns in River State, the political gladiators in the oil rich South South State reached a truce on Monday after a meeting with President Tinubu at the Aso Villa in Abuja. The meeting had in attendance Governor Simina Lai Fubara and his predecessor, Yesom Wiki, who is now the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Also at the meeting were ex-Rivers Governor Peter Odili and some traditional rulers from the state. Vice President Kashim Shatima and the Chief of Staff to the President Femi Gbajabia Mila were also part of the meeting. River State has been in chaos for three months, with the State House of Assembly serving as the boxing ring. The rift between Wiki and Fubara split lawmakers in the House with 27 of them decamping from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, a party in whose central government Wiki currently serves as minister. The field also saw the emergence of parallel sittings, an impeachment plot against the governor, the demolition of the assembly complex and a gale of resignations of pro-Wiki commissioners in Fubara's cabinet. The president and some elder statesmen had intervened in the crisis earlier in October, but it degenerated into a full-blown fight. However, after Monday's meeting, the warring parties agreed that all matters instituted in the court by Fubara and his team will withdraw immediately. Also, Fubara, Wiki, Amewole and other people in this crisis, the National Security Advisor Noho Ribadu also signed the document. A netizen commented, Tinubu wants to tell the governor how to run his state. Both Tinubu and Sim have same executive power. The greatest mistake Sim will make is to listen to them. He is digging his own grave. Another person said, based on the agreements in the lease, Fubara didn't get much. Everything there is pro wiki and APC in the long run. Fubara had better sleep with one eye open. Someone asked, why are they giving him condition to accept the commissioners that resign? Next to what's trending is Minister of Women Affairs Uju Kennedy Ohanenye, who has called on the Nigerian security agencies to stay off Nigerian women as they should not pay tax, Vanguard News is reporting. She said women should be empowered to enable them progress in their day-to-day -day activities. Uju, a barrister, gave the warning at the Women, Peace and Security Sector Reference Group 4th Annual Forum 2023 in Abuja. She said women must be empowered. Without women, there won't be peace. When you empower a woman, you have empowered 20 women. The minister further urged the agencies not to disturb women in their activities, saying no woman should be allowed to pay tax. Any tax is free. In his remark, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Betokun, said that the Nigerian police is currently reviewing the policy to ensure that it addresses all issues as contained in the National Gender Policy of Nigeria. He said, I wish to reiterate that the Nigerian police force under my leadership is committed to continuing the implementation of gender-sensitive policies. An artisan said, this is the funniest thing I have ever heard. Is it only men that work? Where is the equality we all crave? A lady said, please, access to quality education and work practices is the key in women's empowerment, not this one. A guy wrote, madam, this one isn't fair. This era is the era of women claiming to be equals to men. So whatever we pay, they should pay too. Because they said that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Nelson was trending is the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control. The NAVDAC has released a statement confirming the interception of counterfeiters involved in the production of variety of beverages, including wines, soft drinks, and consumables in Ezioku Market, the cemetery market Aba Abia State. In the statement released, the agency said following an intelligent tip-off, NAVDA carried out several weeks of intelligence gathering and collation of data on the activities of these merchants of death. The agency stated that in collaboration with other security agencies, NAVDA carried out a sting operation in the market to bust the criminal operations taking place there. It is worthy to note that this dastard activity has been going on for a long time and they operate like a cartel, threatening anyone who dares to challenge them. 
Some of the nefarious activities of the counterfeiters included the manufacturing of all kinds of adulterated products, especially different kinds of wine from a wide variety of brands ranging from Seaman Schnapps, Hennessy, Four Cousins, Carlo Rossi, Jenny, Chelsea London Dry Gin, Schnapp Dry Gin, McDowell's, Black Labels, Gordon's, Mattel, Campari, Smen of Ice, Ever Non-Alcoholic Drink, Cartel and others. There is also date revalidation for expired products like pig milk, powdered milk, ketchup, yogurt, Coca-Cola products, packaging of fake and substandard products, which are later sold to unsuspecting members of the public for consumption. Because of the extensive operation, the agency raided over 240 shops, turned factories where the harmful products were being produced and marketed. The statement added that the shop turned factories are very filthy, using water from very unhygienic sources, harmful chemicals, saturating, coloring, dirty recycled bottles, and cloned packaging materials of other brands. A netizen said, these people have been producing this drink yes, since uh, many years ago. I have worked there before. Maybe they refused to settle this year. That is what led to this. A lady opined, Thank you, Navdak. This is God saying, stay off alcohol and wines. A guy added, they will call it business. No, it is not business. Indeed. Now let's take a short break. And when we come back, you will see what is happening on the justice for Mubad Saga. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's news feed. Now, Iyabo Ojo replies Naramali demands 1 billion Naira in damages. Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo on Monday, December 18th, responded to a letter by Olale Ka Ojo, lawyer of Nigerian singer Naramali. In her reply, Iyabo demanded 1 billion Naira from Naramali over the failure to serve her a pre action letter. According to the document published on the Instagram handle of the actress, Iyabo demanded the amount over Naramali's act of deliberately misleading the public. Earlier, Naramali had demanded a public apology and 500 million naira in damages from Iyabo. An Instagram post by Iyabo in September 2023 was cited, and she was said to have allegedly accused Naramali of engaging in spiritual and physical dealings with popular late singer Ilerio Lua Loba, also known as Mubad, which allegedly caused the late act mental harm. Responding, Iyabo, through her counsel, said, Our client will have ordinarily dismissed your letter dated December 12, 2023, for being outrightly inconsequential and of no relevance, premised on your failure to transmit the correspondence till this very day. Our client finds your client's demands spurious, frivolous, and clout chasing, but shall initiate an action in case that your client fails to do so. Our client shall be claiming the sum of 1 billion naira. Mobad, a former signee of Naramali, died September 12 at the age of 27. An artisan commented, In a working country, someone like Naramali is supposed to be in jail for bullying charges. A guy wrote, Lawyers, please explain. How does lawsuit work in Nigeria in case of slander, libel, or sedition? Another person said, The main fight behind justice for Mobad is starting to come out. Now, some what's trending is a lady who recounts her near-death experience at a newly opened water park in Lagos. As after the woman shared her heart-wrenching experiences at a newly opened water park in Lagos, a man calls for the closure of the facility over several reasons like slippery floors. Take a look. Today, I was at the Gira Gardens and beautiful place. I won't lie, but I need to let Nigerians know this. That place is not safe. The slides are too long and the pool you are going to enter, they're really shallow. The lifeguards there, they are not well trained. They don't have safety precautions. The place is all messed up. I fell, my head hit the pool when I was coming from the log side. My daughter warned me that I shouldn't go, but I was like, no, Bella. She said, mommy, I hit my head. Mommy, don't go. I didn't believe her. And then I went. Even before I went, I was telling them, I said, look, you people. You have to let your life that receive people. But then, they didn't listen to me. I went, I hit my head, and then my lips got torn into two pieces. I'm on my way to the hospital now, and I hope I'm not going to need a stitch. Even the river, the big river they had, was the first place I hit my head at the back, because it was just too shallow. So guys, 
I know a lot of people have seen it on my story and they'll be willing to go. I'm not saying you shouldn't go, but go at your own risk. And I think the Lagos State, whoever is in charge, should, you know, go there, look at it properly and do the necessary check. Otherwise, this is not like I'm trying to spoil on another person's business. People would die there. A lady opined if she was in Yankee now, it's to sue them and they will pay big. Another said, Nigeria, my country, so they couldn't do a proper test run before opening it up for, uh, to the public. Another lady said, honestly, I thought that he would foot her medical bills. That is the owner. Next, our Australian web actor Jonathan Majors has been found guilty of assaulting his former girlfriend. After a trial in New York, the jury found Majors, known for playing Kang in the Marvel Universe, attack British choreographer Grace Jabari during an altercation in March. She told the court that she was left with a fractured finger, bruising, a cut behind her ear and excruciating pain. Majors now faces up to a year in jail. A sentencing hearing will be held in February 2024. The six-person jury's verdict was announced on Monday, December 18th, following three days of deliberations. The assault took place when the couple were in a car in New York and Jabari saw a text message from another woman on Major's phone. According to prosecutors, when she took the phone, he then grabbed her, twisted her arm behind her back and hit her in the head to get it back. The jury found him guilty of two of the four domestic violence charges that he was facing. He was found guilty of assault by recklessly causing physical injury as well as harassment. But the jury declined to convict him on charges of aggravated harassment and assault with intent to cause physical harm. The prosecution said the assault was the latest escalation in Major's attempts to exert control over his girlfriend through physical and emotional violence. They shared voice recordings and text messages between the former couples with the jury. In audio from an argument that same month, Major told Jabari that she needed to act more like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama, the wives of Martin Luther King and former President Barack Obama. Lawyer for Majors, 34, claimed the actor was the victim and that Mr. Barry assaulted him in a jealous rage after seeing the text message in the car. An artisan wrote, I never liked this guy in Creed. I just knew that his role was just too real like his personality. I'm not surprised at all. A lady asked, guilty, but what about that video of him running from her? Something isn't right. Another lady said, how do you get a white woman and tell her to act like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott, both black women? Please make it make sense. If role play was your thing, why not start with the right color? I really want to feel sorry for him, but some of these men had it coming. Telling women to do better. Now, all we got to say to them is choose better. And lastly, onto a funny and very impressive video of kids who are genius in bottle flipping. Take a look. Apparently, what the adults can do, the kids can do better. And that is all on Newsbeat today on Trust TV. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X. Bye.